Oh, you look good, dude. Don't lie to me. Don't fucking. No, you look. Me. You look really fucking good. Don't patronize me, man. No, I'm being for real. You're I going. You, I love you too, bro. I, you know, you know, you know. First, bro, before you met me, before you slid in my DMs and invited me to go to that house when I was a young kid. You know what? When I was 18. You know what's crazy is this, bro. I'm a fan of this face shit before. So when I woke up today, the way you did it, bro. I'm just, I was so happy, bro. The way you did everything, it's just some bullshit. Tell me why, I'm so interested. Why did it make you happy? What, like, what, why did it, why did it trigger? By the way, thank you for saying that. Yeah. That's, obviously, we're trying to get a positive response. I mean, we expected today to be fucking kind of like a, you know what I mean, a shit show. Um, I definitely expected it to be way more negative than, than like, there was an overwhelming, you know, amount of like positivity and just like, <sighs> You know, encouraging responses, but like, what about it made you like? What What did you like about it? Because you know, you're, you're every, also a sicko. Like you like the dog. <laughs> I just like when people get mad at shit. Like I love the drama, bro. Like like when people are getting mad on Twitter and shit. It like actually like makes me laugh and shit. Like I actually like found it funny as fuck. Like when people like were sitting there like getting mad and crying and shit. I'm sorry. I know it sounds really fucked up. The way oh, you just goodness. the way the way you kick people is like an OG clan type of thing. They wake up and they see a roster update. The way you did it was super fucking awesome and super creative. It was an OG thing. And that's what just goes to show you this new age of Twitter are full of pussies. Because why are they getting upset over it? That's just the way you do it. Also, I have I do have a little bit of tea to spill. It was actually supposed to be way more like gnarly and savage than that. Originally in again, listen, I have no like ill will against the fucking the people we kicked off. This should be obvious, right? Like and anybody with half a fucking brain knows like yeah, we have no issue with these people. It just does not make sense. It doesn't work. Like this phase shit's in a spot where <laughs> it was controlled by like VC corporate money who's just trying to like milk the fucking brand for as much as they can get. So they they hire people that they feel like they have to hire, and they're fucking pumping out brand deals. And the whole thing's just been a commercial shit show for fucking four years. So in my mind, I need to make a a really like loud matter of fact straight to the point statement that's why that's why the temporary branding is like the blue screen of death reboot like you know what I mean? love windows it. X, yeah windows 95 reboot like that's the state in which the fucking brands in bro like wipe the slate clean like this is what it is and originally like just because there is a salty taste left in my mouth you know what i mean like this shit and again i've explained this at length but we got fucking raped, bro. No, I know you guys really? did. I was there when. Like so on such a no, disgusting. No, I watched it happen. Level. Like, not only did these fools <laughs> strip our brand away from us. Yeah. Like, it, in my own personal example, my fucking shares and phase got sto straight up stolen from me. Yeah. Fucking seven, eight years ago, and they didn't get reissued to me until right before we went public. Right. So like, yeah. just imagine. As FaZe Bank, somebody who helped, co like, found this company. I've never signed a document. I've never approved any sort of spending. I've never had any sort of control over where the money goes, who's getting paid what. So then all these fucking, like, corporate LARPs. Which I'm sorry for, by the I mean, way. Fuck those guys. Nah, it, it's fine. But, like, you live and you learn. That's that's the whole point, though. Like, Stop spamming that. They're not Jewish. Just me and my homies fucking around playing video games, like, and now you got you know cr groups like amp and sidemen and shit and beta squad and these these are these are like entities and clicks and brands of homies that are thriving but it's let's call it what it is it's the phase blueprint bro like we were the first people on that shit yeah. like we were the first people you doing were. a content house but what comes with being first is you get <laughs> fucked we had nobody to like look to to guide us and fucking ultimately we ended up getting you know what i'm you saying did. out of our you did get raped 100p it's funny bro when i first met you bro you even told me aiden you could easily come to phase and join don't do it i'm not letting you do it you didn't let me go to phase when i wanted to join no, phase. first thing because you're such a great fucking kid you were honestly so just happy like to be in the, the mix of this shit you yeah were gung -ho. you wanted to fucking you wanted to show up you wanted to work you want to do shit first thing you said to me was <laughs> bro, you gotta get me in phase i want to join phase yeah yeah if you dead in the fucking eye i said aiden no yeah absolutely not you did we're you're gonna be on your own shit and you do not want to join phase right now yeah that's cute it's just like you know what i mean Coming like tearing up. oh god that's actually like you actually like are a real one for that
Bro, 100% and I'll always be on that time. Bro, I was just in Miami. You already know. I was just in Miami filming productions. Around oh, yeah. Bro I, bro, I haven't been in a fucking phase video or a phase production in fucking God knows how long. Five years probably. I've avoided that camera at all costs. And we had this giant warehouse with productions happening every other fucking day. I'm avoiding this shit like it's got fucking AIDS, like it's got the HIV. And I'm fucking <laughs> oh, no. in Miami. I'm in Miami for three days only to shoot phase content. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You feel me? Like, I don't know. It's just a, I'm really, I'm excited about where 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 we're going. We're doing something, bro. I don't know. It, it, we might fail. We might fall flat on our faces. Nah, but nah, nah, nah. You I'll won't. be fucking damned if I let somebody else fuck it up. If this shit's gonna get fucked up, it's gonna be because I fucked it up. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, bro. You know, I, I, I know everything. I've known this for months, and I'm just so happy, bro. Because as a brother, you know, and as a fan, I, I'm finally gonna see all this shit fall fall down. And uh, you know, you got people just trying to come at Banks. Like Banks is not the first one who made gaming cool. Faze made gaming mainstream. Y'all made it cool. When I was in school, when I was in third grade, I had to hide that I was fucking gaming because it wasn't cool in school. Now motherfuckers game and it's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm going to be on PlayStation later. You guys made this shit the real fucking thing. You guys made it cool, bro. You guys made it cool to do this shit. You made it cool. Bro, at, the end of it, at the end of the day, like, I don't want to fucking get all like corny and cliche about it. But I mean, what you just said, like. I got Destroy Lonely calling me. I got fucking everybody. Like, I got, I got, you already know. I don't need to list the names off, but I got everybody in the fucking world fucking with the phase shit on some, like, yo, I used to watch this shit. I used to play MW2, like, yada, yada, yada. And it obviously, it touches me every single time. And I'm fucking, it's super humbling. And it's, it's literally the only reason why I have anything, anything good in my life, my family, is because of this phase shit. And that's just, it's just, it's more, it's just, it's even more than the money part for me. Like, it's fucking just so much deeper than that, bro. My my body's covered in fucking all these shitty tattoos. Of the first one was the fucking, <laughs> the FaZe logo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know, bro. You know, my, my favorite tattoo is your Christmas tree. By my ear? Yeah. 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 Um, dude, nah, bro. I, I'm excited, bro. You know, it's just. Do you celebrate Christmas? I have before. Do you think that's appropriate? I mean, I have with other family members, like, you know, other ones. All right. Have, do you? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> well, look, <laughs> you come to Hanukkah this year. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom, baby. Passover, did you do, did you do yeah. what you're supposed to do? I did my Passover, of course. Did you? Yeah. I did my Passover. Tom made you? Yes, Tom made me do the Passover. <laughs> yes. yes. He did. He did. Um, What's, okay, what, what's going on with this, uh, this Yeezy? By the way is that just bro, a that's that's the internet being bro obviously i'm not a part of yeezy porn I mean, like, <laughs> what? Like, bro, i'm on set for this phase shit and the internet's talking about yeezy today so i put that as the caption all these fucking kanye pages start covering it and shit obviously i'm gonna troll them yeah yeah i get like, you, you always do like bro i had girls call me last night and they're like are you doing like with kanye i'm like yeah he paid me a million dollars my sin and i fucked this that <laughs> yeah, yeah. They fully believe it. Made them believe it. Dude, it's, it's insane. People are so insane. Dude, it's crazy. Yo, bro, fuck. Like, the internet really what believes is that. Yeah, I don't even know. Kanye's gonna, we'll find out what it is. Um, I don't want to hold him for long, guys. He hasn't slept. If you guys got any more questions, bro, if you guys want to know what's up with Face, I'm I'm excited, bro, because I know everything, and it's like, I want to tell everyone. I want to leak it. <laughs> Please don't do that. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, <sighs> Uh, Listen, there's really not even much to like leak or tell. We have like the next week. Face Pammy. Yeah, this this guy this chat's fucking weird. Why are you smiling about that? Because it's funny. No, it's not. Um uh phase Aiden. Aiden, listen, like, if you want to sit and talk big boy business moves, <sighs> this shit's gonna be a fucking movie, and I plan to make everybody who thought they caught a bag and caught a lick on your boy look like a fucking <laughs> and feel dumb. <laughs> Because we're taking this back. Yeah. And we're running it the fuck up. And your boy's got plans. True. And I've proven myself to be at least halfway of a smart kid and knowing my way around the internet. And you know what I mean? Ha it's just like, and again, if someone's going <laughs> to fuck it up, if it's going to fail, it's going to be me and my boys that I started this shit with. Facts. How did you pick on who to choose and who to keep? That's actually what I want to know. It's just so, phase, phase is at its best when it's... The, it was at its peak when it was the homies fucking around 
working off each other, bouncing off each other, watching each other's videos, being involved in each other's shit, like just fucking with each other, bro. Like it starts there. You know how your dynamic is with your boys. Like, yeah, you don't have the same dynamic when you stream with the average fucking whatever clouded streamer versus like cheeser and fucking, you know what I mean? Those other motherfuckers. Sweat the sweatshirt kid. Sweater God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, one day, I swear we were going to do Phase SSB, and they were too lazy. Bro, I, was on the same, I was on the same flight as Sweater on the way to on the way to Miami. You were? It was so good, dapping him up. I had, like, my hood up and glasses on and he was <laughs> so psyched out. I caught him off guard. I said some crazy shit to him. <laughs> nah, it's funny. Uh, how do we go about, um, okay, okay, so, guys, like, one or two more questions. Nothing stupid. Um... I'm excited because he's going to keep doing – you're basically come back to the internet full-time. Like, you're going to be really involved. So This is uh, the first time you've seen me really active on the internet. You're active, for real. No, you are. we lived together, I was still on, like, don't talk to me mode, yada, yada. I'd still be on that. But this phase shit, like, we need to we need to do something, man. We're doing something. Um, I, I probably seem like a fucking freak. I haven't slept in two days. I've been fucking, obviously, like, super busy today. They want to know, oh, phase rain. What's going on with Norton? I talked to Norton today for three hours on the phone, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, I don't want to, like, say too much because we really just talked as, like, as brothers. But that's that's what I'll say is, like, that – at the end of the day, bro, that's my brother. Like, yeah. And there's exactly, you know, two other people besides us who care about FaZe on the level that we care about it. And it's Tommy and Apex. You know what I'm saying? Like, Of course. The bond that I have with these kids is on a whole different level. We're all legends in our own right. These kids – are just as much responsible as I am for fucking any sort of success phase has. And like, they all got equally as fucked as we did. You know what I'm saying? Makes like, sense. Well, I'm telling you what these people did to us was so beyond just like stealing from us. Like they turned us against each other and, yeah. like, and let us down the wrong paths and let us make mistakes that we didn't have to make. You know what I mean? Like trip up on like, you, at no point did these people teach us how to do fucking taxes or anything about a contract or anything, bro. Like. It was so fucked up. I've, I've been saying this is going to be a movie. It's going to be a fucking No, I'm movie. excited, bro, because I saw everything. I know it's going to happen. I'm just got it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, hold on. Is something happening tomorrow? I hope so. To be honest with you, we were going to let this shit cool down because, again, like, I honestly didn't nah, even. Can we all just take a moment to realize and recognize and just, like, study the fact that what happened today happened like phase low-key owned twitter today like it's you all did. everybody people are super engaged with it whether their opinions negative or positive clearly face has some fucking weight clearly people give a fuck about phase you know what i'm saying like i did not even i'm fucking phase banks you know what i mean i gotta be biased to an extent i gotta like be delusional and believe in this shit on like a sicko level because who else will if not me right? that's true no you're not wrong it's true but, but, like, I did not expect it to be like this today, honestly. Like, I expected to put it out, whatever, we'll get some fuck, we'll get shit on for a little bit. No, every, everyone, everyone was engaged in, in, in this wait, shit. Wait for a day, and then we fucking, we, you know, we uh, we roll some shit out. Okay, two, but, uh, two, two, two that more. Was the plan. Monday is the plan for the next, for the next the update next thing? on shit. Okay, Monday. Monday's the well, next. Also, you can candid, bro. Like, it ain't, like. There's really nothing sensitive. Like Tommy was talking to me today about speaking right. about something. I'm like, bro, you don't gotta ask me. Like, oh, okay. Like, just, just talk. Just talk. All right, I'm gonna ask say, it. Like, I'm gonna ask it. And again, I just want to know the phase, yeah. the phase blaze situation. Okay, so I'm really happy you asked about that. By the way, first of all, Blaziken again is my fucking brother. I I call him Blaziken because that was his OG name. And then he started rapping, switched it up. Yeah. To blaze weird shit but that's my brother right that's my that's my blood at the end of the day F lucas's content is the furthest thing from like how we want phase represented i'm just gonna be honest yeah that's nothing like that's that's fun. there's 99.9 percent .9 of content on the internet we don't like it doesn't belong with phase you know right I mean? it ain't the time we're on um we don't talk regularly like i haven't talked to lucas on the phone in fucking years damn like it's fucked up to say but like you know we all grew apart people Bro, we're old and fucking washed up. You know what I'm saying? Like we were on, <laughs> we're on the shit you're on, ten years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Why you look like that? Wait, so am I gonna get washed up soon too? Not soon, not soon. I had a crazy run, bro. Yeah, you and did. I don't know. No, you did. Am I washed up? I'm washed. No, up. Uh, not really, cause you're on some CEO shit.
<laughs> oh yeah, see the new arc, new chapter. But um, no, his his video, Lucas's video response. First of all, the kid clearly loves FaZe and totally understands. I could tell that he understands it. Like, you know what I mean? And had nothing but amazing things to say about me, Rain, everybody else, and really just said it for exactly what it what it was. Right. But in a weird, ironic way, he talked about like having an announcement, the best thing ever happening, and he launched these fucking caffeine chocolate balls and <laughs> don't laugh, bro. Because if you laugh, I'm... <laughs> why are you laughing? Bro, if you laugh, I'm laughing because, because you're laughing. Oh. Bro, if you laugh, I'm All gonna right. fucking laugh. I won't laugh. And I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Right. I'm proud of you. Yeah, Lucas. proud too. <laughs> Dude, shut hey, up. You're the one laughing. Bro, I'll kill you. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm look away. You make you look crazy on this stream. I'll kill you. <laughs> All right. So yeah, he launched these caffeine chocolate balls and did a deal with like Walmart. <laughs> Dude, I'll kill you. I swear. <laughs> I haven't slept in two days, bro. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry. He launched the caffeine balls. Then what happened? Are we on kick? Can I pull my shit out? Yes, you can. Let me see your dick. You're crazy. Bro. I'll do it too. <laughs> no, nah, but look, I, I like FaZe Blaziken a lot. He's a good dude. I like him too. No, no. 10 out of 10 class act. I tweeted him that. But basically, his content's so off the mark and so off like brand for what we're trying to reestablish FaZe as that it's just pulling it in the wrong direction. And also like... He's got a whole new venture, and that's like no joke. Like he just fucking, he's in three thousand WalMarts. Like he's a multi-million dollar deal for a product that he started. That's crazy. Owns. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And if Lucas goes and makes a hundred million dollars on these fucking balls, that, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I would love nothing more than to see that. That's not what it's about. And at any point, Lucas can call us and use any resources, any facilities. Like he's family. You know what I mean? Lucas can come sleep in my fucking crib tomorrow if he needs to type shit you know what i mean but just like as to not confuse the direction of where we're going it just felt like the move and i'm speaking for everybody by the way again i'm playing the bad guy like i'm you know what i mean i'm the one speaking on all this shit but yeah that's fine well no, that's i mean cool. i mean ricky your your whole way of you're doing this you're doing this your way you're being the bad guy don't leak your phone don't leak your phone don't leak your phone don't leak your phone turn your phone turn it there you go oh you can see it yeah that's um, crazy i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you go in like a minute or so you know, I'm seeing all the motherfuckers on Twitter like, oh my God, I'm getting kicked. Like, who gives a flying fuck? Listen, bro, like, I'm gonna just say, no, I don't care, bro. Without, I, I wouldn't know how, like, 90% of these people if it wasn't for FaZe. But I do wanna have, a, I do have a question for the people like, you know, like Offset, I think Yachty, Snoop, Brawny. Like, what it, like, what is there? Obviously, I know you're cool as fuck with everyone, bro. Everyone loves you, Ricky. So, what does it mean for people like that? Cause that's a corporate type of thing, right? Not exactly. Like, Bo is my brother. Like, that, yeah. I saw him at Coachella. Like, every time I see him, it's love. Like, that's really the homie. I got to witness his career fucking, like, yeah. go crazy. Like, we kind of low-key came up together type shit. Like, that era, that 2016, 17, yeah. 18 era, it was just, like, kind of both of our, like, peaks, time, like, whatever. And that's my boy. And he joined FaZe on some, like, yo, I've been fucking with FaZe, like, I played MW2, I trick shot, I did this, yada, yada, sure. yada. Yeah. We really formed this relationship with him and he really wanted to show love and support. We did like a merch collab and shit. It was dope. The way that the shit happened with Boat was was amazing. But like then, you know what I mean? Like it kind of ran its course. I don't think the, the move ever was to like make Lil Yachty an official part of the team with FaZe in his name and shit. Like the how the other members rock. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. like Yachty's the homie. Boat's the homie. Obviously, Brawny's the fucking homie. But like this motherfucker's training to be in the nba and shit you know what i mean like yeah we can make videos with this fool and tap in with him and like pull up to the draft and show him love and it's like family on that but it's just it doesn't feel appropriate or it just feels disingenuous it feels like and that's how we always felt about it like corporate obviously loved that shit because all it meant was more you know attractive mainstream brand dollars that's why i'm speaking so candid because i don't give a fuck bro fuck <laughs> a brand deal fuck a ceo yes fuck money fuck it bro yeah I'll do this face shit with zero dollars and the company can be valued at zero dollars. I'll I'll still be standing there with my dick in one hand, phasing the fuck up <laughs> in the other hand. I swear to God, bro. Like, uh, I don't give a f I'm just like, and I don't know if I'm fucking on some sicko shit. I don't know if I'm going down. No, nah, you're not. That's a great way to go down. Bro, 
Well, we're going to fucking fu Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. If we go out like that, <laughs> you can hold my head high and say at least it was fucking Dude, far away. Dude, I'll, I'll go down that road with you. We'll sit down and talk another time. Once everything I goes, love I love you too. Last thing I'm going to ask, and then after this, we're going to lead off on a good note. Um, they wanna, they're asking about Tico. Bro, Tico, again, is just like, he's the homie. Like, he's, he's, it's not even the homie. Like, he's my brother. Like, these are, everybody we did that phase New York house shit with, like, we all can agree, like, that is, like, oh, the yeah. most important, pivotal, so good. pivotal moment of our lives. You know what I mean? Like, fuck the numbers, fuck the stats, fuck how, like, clouded shit was. Because it really wasn't. Like, there have been, like, higher peaks to phase of success in terms of numbers. But, like, the, the energy. And that's what the fuck I'm trying to, like trying to capture that a little piece of that you know what i mean because that's where all the fucking magic happens like that's and tico tico just like hasn't really wanted to like engage in any of the phase shit over the last year and a half two years like has been super mismanaged mistreated but so have we you know what i'm saying so like tico's kind of just been on like yo fuck phase like get take me off the roster type shit like that's been his kind of energy and like bet like We'll clean it up. We'll fucking get it back on course. Anytime you want to jump back in the equation, you're more than welcome to, bro. Like, you're you're our family type shit. You know what I mean? For sure. And I'm going to just say this. Like Lucas, just because we don't necessarily have him on the roster, like, he's our fucking family. Like, that Lucas will always be FaZe Blaze. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fakie will always be FaZe Fakie. Yeah. We just have to, like, draw some lines in the sand and set some standards for, like, who we're going to have phase in their name because that's what these fucking corporate people did they slapped it on everybody's fucking Everyone. names yeah a million different collabs and our fucking logos on a fucking tostino's pizza roll bag <laughs> but for real though you know what i'm saying like what the fuck like yeah hold up do i sound insane no do I you sound don't mad? you don't no hey bro i love the way you're speaking listen i'm gonna just say this and you told me this in person the internet is coming back x is coming back shout to elon he's doing great the way you're doing this shit, I love it. It's like reminding me of the 2016 vibes. You're bringing this shit back, bro, the culture. 2017 internet, bro. You ran it, 